uh, Cold War, yeah. uh, there was uh, any pass. Uh, there wasn't any possibility of uh, reducing the nuclear arsenal so drastically. But yeah. after the end of Cold War, yeah. we are now witnessing the number of the nuclear weapons uh, reduced from the the range of uh, sixty thousand to twenty six thousand nowadays. Well, actually, start one uh, signed in. Uh, 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 which went into effect in 1994, uh, reduces the uh, weapons to 8,000 yeah. on each side. And uh, then START II, uh, which was signed by the United States actually in uh, 1993, um, but has not yet been ratified, uh, re has the uh, objective of reducing the number of strategic weapons down to 3,000 to 3,500 yeah. by the year 2003. Yes. And then also uh, progress has been made on START 3, which would reduce the number of strategic uh, nuclear weapons down to 2,000 to yeah. 2,500 by the year 2007. These haven't been ratified yet, but uh, it, there's, I, I'm optimistic that uh, they, they will be ratified. Well, uh, during your tenure of uh, the chairman of uh, Atomic Energy Commission, uh, you worked with uh, such prominent people like uh, Secretary McNamara of Defense or General Goodpasta. Uh, yeah. And those people are now advocating the further reduction of the nuclear weapons. Oh, yes, uh, and General Butler. Yes. And, and General uh, 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 Goodpasture yeah. and so forth. Yes, sir. Uh, they realize that the uh, uh, safety and security of the world uh, depends on uh, cutting back on these uh, uh, nuclear weapons, and they're very active in trying to cut back uh, uh, even more drastically, yes. and also to uh, uh, stop the production of uh, fissionable material for uh, for weapons. Would you think it's possible? to well, achieve the goal of uh, their saying that the number should be cut to 200 around uh, for each of the, the nuclear state uh, as a step towards the total elimination. Yes, I, I think that it's quite feasible uh, to cut it back to 100 or, or 200. Uh, I'm not sure about complete elimination because of the uh, possibility that uh, uh, there will always be some weapons and, and uh, a, a small retaliatory capacity to prevent their use uh, uh, may be uh, the, the best course of action. We, what we have to be concerned uh, is uh, some uh, rather uh, the adventurous leader of a nation suddenly decide to develop nuclear weapons uh, on their own. That's right. Yeah. That's what we have to be concerned about, whether some adventurous uh, leader of some country, you know, like Iran or Iraq or North Korea, um, uh, would uh, embark on such a program. And in order to prevent that, we need to strengthen the uh, uh, ability of the International Atomic Energy Agency to police uh, the, uh, the the world in this uh, uh, in this way, we we need to give them much more uh, power in uh, inspections, uh, determine whether this is happening, and then uh, power in. Uh, some way involving the United States to uh, prevent it if uh, there is evidence that their country is trying to move in this direction. We need to do that. That agency, IAEA, yeah. is also one of the, the international agency in which you are heavily involved of uh, the establishment and creation. Yes. And you see that still uh, there aren't uh, enough power 
will uh, embed it into that uh, agency to police and monitor yeah. and deteriorate. I, they, there isn't enough power yet. Giving the IAEA much more uh, bigger budget, uh, uh, the ability to have a larger staff, and uh, the authority to make inspections mm -hmm. of uh, of uh, nuclear power reactors and uh, and uh, the um, uh, other possible activities in the countries uh, throughout the world. Uh, I'd like to go back to the time when. Berlin Wall was collapsed and uh, the Cold War was ended. Uh, it really opened the way for the, the real reduction of the nuclear arsenals between the United States and the uh, well, former Soviet Union, Russia. Uh, at that time, uh, what was your thought when you heard that the, the, the Soviet Union was really collapsed and uh, uh, there was no nuclear well, uh, threatening uh, between the two superpowers. Oh, well, I was uh, elated. I, I mean, I was glad to, to see that we'd finally come to that point. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, uh, none of the uh, uh, Allied uh, uh, leaders, including the United States, uh, uh, foresaw this. They, uh, uh, despite their uh, uh, espionage activities and so forth, it, uh, it came as a, a surprise. You, you were in the Kennedy administration when Cuban Missile Crisis occurred. Yes. And that was really the first experience of mankind being well, put onto the verge of uh, the real nuclear war between the two superpowers. Yeah, that was a very close uh, uh, escape. Yeah and uh, President Kennedy handled it very well. Uh, I was in a position where uh, I would be asked to go to a shelter uh, in the basement of the Germantown headquarters uh, if the uh, situation got to the point where it looked like the weapons would be used. Uh, but uh, my family wouldn't be going there and they would be left exposed. So I was faced with the problem of what I would do, whether I would leave my family and go to the uh, shelter. Uh, I don't know what I would have done, but fortunately I, I never had to make that decision. And White House or Pentagon, they, they also had their own shelters. Yes, the, the White House, the Pentagon, and, and uh, other uh, uh, key governmental agency heads uh, had uh, designated places where they would go uh, for their shelters. Uh, after that, uh, well, uh, would you think that the nuclear deterrent really worked to, to prevent war? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, uh, the nuclear deterrence uh, worked to prevent war until finally the uh, uh, sort of collapse of the Soviet Union. So we finally got the, over the uh, the, the real uh, dangerous period. Plutoniumを発見した当時、シーボーグ博士は、このゲンソこそ将来のエネルギー不足を解消するであろうと期待しました。of atomic materials for military purposes. It is not enough to take this weapon out of the hands of the soldiers. It must be put into the hands of those who will know how to strip its military casing and adapt it to the arts of peace. こうして50年代半ばから姿を現した原発は世界中で次々と検察され 増え続ける需要を賄う主要な電力供給源となっていきます。しかし原発は一方で放射能漏れなど安全性に不安を抱えていました。その不安が現実となったのは1979年アメリカのスリーマイル島で起きた放射能漏れ事故でした。
住民を危険にさらしたこの事件によってアメリカは以後原発の増設を諦めることになりますそして1986年に起きたチェルノブイリの事故は原子力への信頼を突き崩しましたパスと並んで大きな期待を集めたのがプルトニウムを利用した高速増殖炉でした高速増殖炉は原発から出た核廃棄物を燃料として再利用し電力を作る仕組みですその廃棄物がさらにプルトニウムを生むことから原発以上に効率の良いシステムとして期待されましたしかし安全管理の問題からイギリスやドイツなど欧米諸国は次々と開発を断念積極的だったフランスも今年に入り原子炉の閉鎖を明らかにしました21世紀に向けて高速増殖炉の実用化をひたすら目指してきた日本でも相次ぐ事故により開発が暗礁に乗り上げています高速増殖炉第1号の文字は1995年のナトリウム漏れ事故以来稼働を停止また今年3月東海村の再処理工場で起きた火災事故では同年の安全管理のずさんさが改めて問いただされました40年以上続いた日本の原子力政策は今根本から見直しを迫られています。Like to to have、uh, the comment of yours on the peaceful use of、uh, plutonium. That is that、uh, well,、uh, what you expected to achieve through the use of plutonium was mainly on breeder reactor、yeah. uh, type of uh, operation.、Yeah. And yet the first breeder reactor.、Uh, Has been cancelled in various countries,、yeah. and we in Japan have lots of problems with the fast m o n j u reactor.、Yeah. Yes,、uh, Monju.、Yeah. Yes.、Uh, how would you view this situation in regard to the fast m o n j u reactor which utilizes、oh, plutonium? Well, I, I, would say, I would say that I was over optimistic. It was,、uh, of course, we dropped it,、uh, the development of the fast m o n j u reactor in the United States. Uh, clear back in 1978 or so,、uh, in the administration of President Jimmy、uh, Carter.、Uh, but the work、uh, has been carried on in Japan and、uh, France and、uh, some extent in the Soviet Union. But、uh, all of those places have run into trouble, and it's a much more difficult development than any of us anticipated. So, I would say that I was over optimistic, but I believe that in the long run it will probably be necessary. We cannot continue to burn our fossil fuels, which have so many other important、uh, applications, you know, and sources of chemicals and、uh, so forth. And uh, the uh, development of the、uh, renewable resources uh, uh, will not be. Uh, uh, Competitive、uh, economically for quite some time. And、uh, I believe that it will be necessary to develop the breeder reactor so that we can use all of the uranium. The uranium U235, U238,、uh, as well as U235,、uh, U238 being what you call the fertile、uh, source because it produces、uh, plutonium and hence. The plutonium undergoes fission, but uh, uh, in this way you indirectly are using the U 238 as a fuel. And if you do that,、uh, then uh, the uh, cost of the uh, uranium is uh, uh, not important because、uh, you're using such a high fraction of it that、uh, that doesn't become an important part of the cost of uh, uh, developing nuclear power. And it'll be possible to use low grade uranium, therefore, that it costs more to mine. And、uh, we'd have enough uh, uh, nuclear fuel to, to last 
hundreds or maybe thousands of years. So I, I think we'll.